the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We just blessed Kolimo and some fruits, the uh, fruits of the earth, in memory of a great miracle that was given to mankind at the beginning of the fourth century and has a direct connection to St. Theodore, the recruit, or Tyro, whose memory we celebrate today. His memory is always celebrated the first Saturday of Great Lent. But it so happens that this year we celebrated his, his uh, memory on his day just a few days ago, and also again this day, Saturday. In the beginning of the fourth century, um, Saint Theodore was a Roman soldier who converted to the, to the faith and became a, um, a deeply pious Christian who gave up his life for Christ. When uh, the Roman authorities found out that he had converted, he had left the pagan religion and became a Christian, they seized him, they arrested him, and under the rule of Maximilian, the uh, Roman emperor, he was tortured. He was forced to renounce his faith, but he refused. Finally, he met a martyric death with joy, as is said in his, uh, his life. Fifty years later, the Roman Emperor continued to persecute the Christians and try different ways of getting them to renounce their faith. And he tried to play a trick on them. Of course, Christians refused to eat food that was uh, offered to the pagan gods. And oftentimes, uh, animal sacrifices would be brought to the idols. And uh, the emperor decided that uh, Christians would frequent a uh, market to buy food for Lent. And the emperor directed his minions to take the blood of the sacrificed animals and sprinkle it on the food that the Christians were to buy at the marketplace. And in a vision, the bishop of Constantinople, Yevdoksi, uh, saw Saint uh, Theodore appeared in, to, to him in a vision and told him that uh, the Christians were to be tricked by the emperor and that they should not buy their food at this particular market. The bishop was able to warn his faithful of this devious trick and uh, the emperor was not able to fulfill what he desired. And the Christians were spared of having to eat food that was uh, spoiled with uh, a pagan animal um, blood. And this miracle is remembered on the first Saturday of Great Lent when uh, Christians who are serious about Lent and fasting have spent a week abstaining from meat and dairy products and fish, and even oil. And perhaps by this day, they had become a little bit uh, fatigued. But when we remember the great deeds of great saints like St. Theodore, and how the first Christians lived, and how uh, zealous they were about their faith, and about following the commandments of God, the law of God, perhaps this might inspire us, contemporary Christians who have become so lax, so um, distant from our faith and from the example 
of the first Christians that perhaps this might inspire us to do better. Perhaps we will never become as the Christians were in the first centuries, but at least we should remember in the back of our mind this, this, these, these fine examples. Today we also commemorate the memory of, of the Holy Patriarch Irmagenus of Moscow, because today is his day. Uh, he lived in the beginning of the 17th century, and of course for us Russians, he uh, played an extremely important role in the history of uh, Orthodox Russia. Uh, he lived in the times of great troubles when uh, uh, the Polish Catholics tried to intervene into internal Russian affairs and uh, the uh, Tsar's throne was empty and the Poles decided to put into his throne uh, a false Dimitri, Prince Dimitri, and eventually make Russia into a Catholic country. Of course, Russia at that time was racked with different, different difficult internal uh, issues in the time, that period of time at the end of the uh, uh, 16th century and the beginning of the 17th was known as the time of troubles. And Saint Hirmagenus, who was a a simple priest in the city of Kazan. Uh, by the way, he is the one who found, uh, uh, revealed the famous Kazan icon of the Mother of God. Um, that's a totally separate story. But then eventually he became the patriarch of, of Moscow. And when uh, the Poles brought the false Dimitri on the throne of the Tsar. Uh, Hermogenes was arrested and spent 10 months uh, in a terrible prison. And during these 10 months, he was able uh, to s write two very important epistles to the Russian people, urging them not to give up their faith not to uh, allow uh, the interventionist to take over the country. And he, was he was able from prison to rally uh, the Russian troops and the people together to uh, overthrow this false Dimitri and uh, uh, to, to keep Russia orthodox as it was after uh, these uh, his, his epistles. At this time, the Trinity Sergius Lavra was surrounded by Polish troops and uh, put under siege. And thanks to the inspiring words of Patriarch Irmagenus, Saint Irmagenus, they were able to withhold and resist and not give up this, this wonderful, uh, most important monastery of the Russian Orthodox Church. So we celebrate his memory and we also, uh, we celebrate in order to be inspired by his firm stance in the Orthodox faith. May we too be as firm as the first Christians of the times of St. Theodore and uh, Holy Patriarch Hermogenes. And we are fortunate that we have the relics of St. Hermogenes. If you will, uh, you see on the analogium before you a disc-shaped object this contains the relics of about 22 Russian saints, which we acquired last year by the grace of God. And eventually we will, we will place these uh, relics into a reliquary. But if you look carefully, you will see the relics of St. Hermogenes, which are surrounded by little droplets of, uh, of beeswax, which we did on purpose so that you can, uh, you can f f uh, figure out which of these uh, uh, many relics are his. So as you come up to the icons, please uh, keep that in mind and uh, venerate with great faith the icons of St. Theodore, St. Hermogenes of Moscow, and finally, St. Theodore of Sinaxar. St. Theodore was a saint, I'm not going to, going to go into great detail of his life, but he was a saint who lived uh, at the beginning of the 
uh, 18th century. He was a confidant um, of St. Tikhon of Zadonsk, and he was the uncle of the famous Russian Admiral Ushakov, Fyodor Ushakov. Um, he, he led a very austere ascetic life. Um, he lived a very interesting and very uh, life full of uh, great difficulties and, and struggles. Uh, it's worth a read if you go to uh, pravoslavia.ru, uh, the English version, you can look up his life and uh, also read it. And we again are very fortunate to have uh, one of his relics and today is his day as well. So we also placed his icon uh, on the analogian for veneration. Through the prayers of St. Theodore, uh, St. Hiramagenus and St. Theodore again, Lord Jesus Christ have mercy upon us and give us the strength and inspiration to carry on with this great fast of 2017. Amen. Благословение Господне на вас, Богом, благодать и человеку любим, всегда не непрестно и во веки веков. Слава тебе, Христе Божие, бывание наше, слава тебе. God, through the intercessions of his most pure mother, our holy glorious and all praise of apostles and holy glorious victorious martyrs of our holy and God-bearing fathers.